see on the screen right now. Uh, okay, okay. So whether he has one or not, we're probably about to find out. He is going to be eating these whirlwinds from Jack o Lantern Cody. Yeah, hopefully not eating too many V Trigger Two command grabs, which is always a big threat. Moons, the Cody player, resident Cody player of the Long Island Council. We've seen a lot of these dojos colliding here. Xana Duty and versus Long Island Council. Excellent to I see really our Massachusetts like tournament have so much reach. I mean, that is the internet, right? Like we are in an unfortunate situation being locked in our houses, but we are in the fortunate situation that we do have access to the World Wide Web that yep. gives us the option to watch some of these absolute beatdowns like Moon's just handed out to Jan. Dude, can you recognize what shoe that Cody has on with the prison suit? I feel like that's like a very specific... It looks like Adidas. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The two stripes? Yeah. Cody put the Adidas on. Oh, sorry. I think Adidas has three, but... Yeah, yeah but it, it, it seems to be the be same, like, that. angle, right? It's true. You also can't be too exact. That's how you get copyrighted. Yeah, right. We don't want that at all. It looks like they both grabbed it at the same time and didn't get a tech, but Moon yep. is punishing that with big damage here. Yep, and that's one of the best things you can send with. A simple two-piece into that incredibly damaging HK Ruffian. Moon's now on the verge of killing a simple light buffer will do it, or a counter hit, medium kick, and medium punch. Moon's looked the strongest we've seen him so far. It's good to see him back on the screen. He climbed his way up after a rough loss in winners. You know, I just realized the Cody jumpsuit has buttons on the back. And so my question to you, Monkey, is how does he do his buttons if they're on the back of his jumpsuit? Well, he broke the handcuffs, didn't he? Oh, no, they're still on, huh? They're just very loose. Well, so I'm imagining he puts the handcuffs on after the jumpsuit. But, like, I don't know. I feel like buttoning things on your back is very difficult. Is that his choice to put on the handcuffs? I mean... Canonically, that's amazing. V-Skill Antire? Probably, yeah, see, so you can see he did V-Skill Antire, and then right after it did EX Zonk, and that means he was holding Heavy Punch, because typically your Antire with Cody is Heavy Punch, but the input for EX Zonk makes you store your punches. So that's why Visco 1 is super important, and that's why it's cool to see the different choices that the Cody players are making, because I know Hoji's all in on V-Skill 2. Big crush kind of there. Although, really unfortunate for Ojian finds himself back in the corner at the end there, losing both his mask and his claw. Oh, but... Yawn gets the kill. I mean, that was all created by the privilege of Vega's V reversal, which we all say is so bad, but there's two of them. And so the timing difference between the two different V reversals makes it so that Vega can get away with these absolutely wild buffers after a V reversal. And if he counter hits you trying to hit the other timing, you just explode and you lose the corner and Yawn takes the round off the two. Here we see it again. Back yeah. to the wall. OG Yawn. Applying pressure, cutting him yep. up. It's a familiar sight for Moon, who was in the right corner last round as well. Fighting his way out. Back to mid-screen, we have crossed the line. Good snipe there on the rock with the Rose. Yep, excellent spot for V-Trigger 1. And so now lots of chip coming out from that backspin claw as well. So Moon's now in a rough spot. Does have almost full meter though. Oh, checks with that confidence sweep, knowing that Yon wants to abuse the Vega walk speed and walk back out of the frame traps. And so he broke his pipe off the claws. Mask now gone as that well. That could have been a super buffer off the fireball. That was in confirm range. Yeah, that would have been done it. But here we go. There it is. Yep. So the advantage on medium kick is so high that even for max range, you can just confirm it as super. The Moon's was still in range of medium kick and other simple combos that would have allowed him to save the but I appreciate him doing super right away just to make sure that he gets the kill regardless of the range. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're in a spot where taking the W is almost more important than conserving the meter mm -hmm. in that specific situation. Obviously, there are yeah. times when you want to be able to hold it really negative there, though, and get yeah. punished yeah. for it. Yeah, I think you really made a big assumption on that Ruffian connecting as a, as a combo. Ooh, he just great, jabbed great out hit. tackle yeah. for the roll. Oh, yeah, the roll is punchable on block, but checking it makes sense. Um, not he, he wasn't reacting to the roll, he was just stuffing out the light punch anyway. It's a bit of 
pretty big damage there off that confirm into V trigger activation. It's about half halfway gone. Another sweep makes it safe with the VT. Oh, Keeps man. himself safe with the rock as well. Moon's covering all of his options, but then he gets command grab and this is plus two on dash. What do you do? Nothing. Elon missed his Oki. Went for the standlight punch meeting, but that whiffs on Croucher's. So Moon's gets out unscathed mostly. And so there's one pipe, kill. Pipe will break on next hit. It, trigger is yeah. gone. If he uses a heavy punch. That could have been it. That could have been it again. There it goes. Good. Now he has his projectile back. Good news for Moon. Oh, that could have been it. the Zonk off the wall. That, Not quite a kill. I thought that was it. Ooh, and I another EX Zonk does it for him. Yeah. Oh, man. Moon's Unchained. I'm Cody wins. I don't think I have much to criticize with Moon's play at the end. I, I don't know if heavy ruffian kick would have gotten the kill there or not. I know it does a little bit more damage, but Moon's is the Cody player and consistency and making sure the combo doesn't drop is the biggest priority there. And he still got the W regardless. All right, so this should still be first to three. So, yeah, I'm so I imagine, OG so we have to keep track of the set count spot. ourselves. So it's two one right now, right? 2-0. Oh, 2-0, excuse me. Um, yeah, 2-0 moves. Yeah. So, Yon is switching over to Laura, and Yon has to win three straight. Oh, come on, monkey. You gotta go to back of Q. Oh, God, I put my controller down. Let me hit the combo. Let me hit the combo. No, you're good. Alright, I got they, it. They got you. They, moons hit start and waited for you to time out. Hey, no, I actually... I pressed back of Q with two seconds left. Don't count me out. I can clutch it out. Inhuman reactions. It took me eight seconds to react to that Q. Inhuman, right? Inhumanly <laughs> slow. Oh, man. Eight frame delay. I hate that lobby mechanic. Eight times 60. I had a 480 frame delay right there on my oh. lobby Q actions. Just call lag. Just be like, oh, man, lag again? Damn. Yeah, right. I mean, we, we have to make some kind of excuse. We are fighting game players, after all. Damn. That's no, I'm just gonna better than that. That's a call out. But all right, so we do see Ojian swap over to good old Laura. But yeah. after those first two games, man, I'm gonna have to see some really spectacular stuff out of him to make this comeback. Because he does have to go three zero now. Him. He has to win every. He has to win six rounds in a row. Not in a row. If you recall. It was, I think, Yon putting moves in losers in the beginning of the tournament with Laura with a free health. So it is certainly possible we see it again. No, Ojian. Wait, I'm gonna go. Nope, you are right. It was 2 0. Oh, 2 0. Oh, yeah, four, four rounds straight up moves, though. So. It's a. Uh, with the average round count of that set, it is absolutely possible that Yon can do it again. That it's was fun as well. Oh, wretched from OG on there. Yeah, he's matching my conjecture already with round one. He, he lost about half life, but Moon's never got to activate V Trigger, and that is what certainly could have allowed him to take the rest of the 50% of the life bar. And he never V reversed either, right? Like, he held that corner pressure. That's, that's what's so important to him. Um, the chance to activate is the chance to win. Yeah, but I mean, it's a two-bar trigger. You do get a lot of time to get it back. Yep, uh, that's why early reversals are so good. Like, now, he probably wouldn't get a second chance. But, at yeah. this point, it doesn't look like he's going to get a chance to activate either. Yeah, that's all that plus one on the knockdown. Cody, a four-frame character. No means to contest five-frame thrones or five-frame normals after that plus one. It's a hard life for him, man. He just got we still won, just doesn't cut it. And yeah, he got absolutely Laura rocked. But that is, that is the Laura conundrum, right? You either win with 5% HP or 90% HP. <laughs> so, I mean, sometimes you just got to take that bait. And it looks like Moons is taking a second to think. We're going right Round back one. into it, though. No change. Just About one second to total. It. All the thinking we need. Moons is on training stage. He's well familiar with the solitary confinement. A Cody player, after all, fresh out of prison used to the claustrophobia that training stage creates. He's at home here. He doesn't need to switch anything. Ooh. He did the little sand kick up there and beat out uh, the dive kick there from Laura. Yeah, so that sand toss, is, it functions as a three-frame wake up. Combo on counter hit. Yeah, pocket sand is, is your three-frame wake up. Alright, 
Things are looking pretty tight now here. One more sunset wheel will do it though. Oh, oh nice read. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to escape there, right? I mean, and who what... doesn't believe that jumping back is the safest escape option? They, com everybody forgets that Laura's V trigger command dash makes her incredibly far forward, wildly quick, and you will get scooped by Yong, who knows that you need to get out. I mean, yeah, I mean, that makes the most sense, right? Like, you don't want to have to hold a Sunset Wheel Thunderbolt mix up. You want to be able to get out of that as quickly as possible, and that he uh, heavy command grab there, uh, just out of the sky, anti air, yeah. whatever you want to yeah, call it. Yeah, the heavy HP elbow, yep. Yeah, it just smokes you. Yep. Goes for the cross up family. there. And back in the corner is Moons, who now has to figure out a new game plan. He needs to figure out something to make his way out. Looks I think he's tried to activate V Trigger three times now off of EX Zonk, but Yon has reversal just in time before the activation. Oh, this time the shimmy with Light Kick and the Zonk works out for Moons, who puts himself on the board and rounds. Important now. Still on it's actually match set point. point now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Every round he takes is a new match point. Meaty tornado there. Yeah, that's an awesome thing to be able to do on your anti airs. Insert some free chip damage. It's a little cheap. Big crush counter there. Ogion keeping mid screen, forcing him to put Moon back to the corner. Gets that Zonk once again there. Yeah, I can't believe how many successful V skill reversals we've seen from Moon. Making that slow invincibility work. Oh man, I could have done it. That would have sniped out so much HP from Moons. We've seen but... great consistency from Yawn, always challenging after Cody's crush medium kick. We've seen trades after crush medium kick a lot. Damn, what that... did he try to do to get stuffed by that suit? I want to know. I don't know, but now he's holding these B trigger overheads. Each of them leads to a full light punch combo. This one is the super and kills Moons who has been evicted from the casa. Oh, yeah. He gets one more. Laura wins. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, it's 2-2? Two, two? Yeah. According to the stream, it's 2-2. Two, two. Yes, you're right. You're right. Um, they swap sides. That's why. All right. But yeah, let me, uh, let me save my climactic announcement of the results for next match, which will certainly determine the victor. And the evictee. Round and the one. evictee, yes, yes. <laughs> But all right, so it is do or die time, and we're just gonna get a run up grab from Yon because yeah, Yon, Yon took off the robes, he got naked, and then he triple dash regular. And I mean, you kind of gotta see that coming if she's taking off the robes. They're gonna you go know? on. You do. The costume change into nearly full nudity. Of, of course, they're about to go ham on. Right? Yeah, but you you just have to expect triple dash grab. You can't yeah. expect like sunset wheel or anything like that. Bro, if, if, if I got naked mid-match, you know I'm going to double dash command grab you minimum. Yeah, command grab, not regular grab. Re I mean, regular grab is pretty dusty too. Three that's dashes. The Grey Life and that Sunset Wheel damage, that's that's a joke. But, oh man, step point now for OG yeah. Yeah, it's not funny to... for Moons. One of the yeah, least no. funny jokes ever told. He is looking at this reverse sweep capability right now. Yeah, if this man gets evicted, Cody's going back to solitary confinement. He'll be in training mode alone. No character to practice against. I'm surprised no snipe there. Does go for the cross-up. Does get beat out by the V-Skill. Yeah, Yon really put himself in the corner there. Moon's smart to V-Skill there. The risk reward is incredibly in his favor. Plus on that charge zonk as well. That's a lot of gray life, and it's all gone now. Lots of meters, too. Oh, he messed up the anti-air, though, and got crossed up back to the wall. This is where Yon has been yeah. pretty strong, I would say. I imagine we'll want to see a reversal here. Oh, instead we oh. see a punish, but no full punish. Yon oh, and he tried oh, to go for a while. That's going to be a problem. He dies for it. Oh, Had the no. chance to do light punch, light punch, medium kick, ruffian, super, but he didn't do it. He... He was pressing lights to push away, not to confirm it was a kill, but the kill was on the table. Instead, Moon's back got thrown through the table with that Laura HP elbow doing so much damage, killed him on what might have been the last pixel of its damage. Yeah, and he RIP really to Moons. threw it to the command grab to expect it. But all right, guys, that is going to be it for me. Monkey Business, thank you once again for having me. Yeah, it's I been a blast. I am going to pass the couch over to It's Brad M. And I am going to say adieu. Have a great day, night, quarantine, whatever you're doing right now. But we'll be we'll sure miss to you, Doc. I appreciate the philosophy and the medical advice. Action.
Goodbye. Bye bye. Welcome back, Brad. Yo, Brad what's news. what's good? That last match was something, man. Like it, it it does me proud to watch a Laura just walk in and be like, "All right, time to have a bunch of Laura rounds." But big no, ups you to say, hey, Laura. But my God, aren't aren't you downplaying the achievements from Jan's Vega though? To go down 0-2 and give his Laura the chance to run make the reverse 3-0? Are you giving his Vega credit for establishing the reverse comeback, the reverse 3-0? Well, yeah, Couldn't his Vega, yep, if exactly. his Vega didn't crumble. That's what I'm doing. So Vega allowed Yawn to pave the way for the Laura to look much stronger, and that's uh, important. It's, like it's, it's the weighted clothing. He had to drop the weighted clothing at the last minute to be like, "This isn't even my final form, bro." Yeah, exactly. And I mean that that must have gotten the moon's head, right? Yeah, it must have. Much love once again to the Doctor is in for hanging out with us so long tonight. Uh, we are now at the top four.